Hey guys, it's Brody Wack, and today I'm gonna tell you guys a story about how my Friday night just sucked completely. Friday night was just, oh my god, Friday night was just terrible for me, and let me explain what the scenario is. So, Friday night, I've been playing this for weeks, by the way, but Friday night, I had a date with a lady friend for just a couple of hours for Friday night. Crazy, right? I know, I have a date with a girl on Friday night, but let me, let me continue, let me continue. So, I didn't really know what, what we were going to do Friday night, but I know we were going to have fun, have an extravagant night, and just have an awesome night. What I was planning on doing, which didn't actually happen, kind of, what I was planning on doing was go, I was going to go pick her up Friday night, I was going to drive her somewhere, we we're going to have fun, either go get something to eat, go get coffee, see a movie, go get dinner, just do something with this lady friend, do something with this female to make her happy and to make me happy just try to do something fun and then after that I would take her home say goodbye go back home and play some Grand Theft Auto 5 does that not sound like an amazing Friday night to you I mean shoot I was looking forward to this all week that's why I, that's the reason I was looking forward to Friday but it was just Oh my god, it did not happen. So, let me explain what did actually happen from the beginning. So, right away, it's Friday night, I'm done with work, I'm done with everything, I'm ready for the weekend, I'm like Rebecca Black, it's like Friday, it's, I'm freaking out because it's Friday, but I also have a day to go on before I can continue the weekend, so I'm getting ready, I'm getting all freshened up and stuff, I'm even like putting on some good clothes, I put on good pants for this lady. Good pants that I could have used for another time or event. I'm wasting my good pants for this lady. So this just shows that I'm taking this serious <laughs> if uh, if uh, I'm putting on my good pants. And if I laugh in the middle of this commentary, it's just because of what's happening that, that just makes it so funny. This did actually happen, by the way. Don't think that this is a joke. But I put on my good pants, right? And I'm getting all ready, I'm all freshened up, and then I go. It's a wonderful Friday night. It's like about 80 degrees in Arizona, which is perfect weather for driving weather and date weather. So it's just perfect weather. It's amazing. It's just awesome. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling happy. I'm driving to go pick this girl up. I get there about, I don't know, I think the date was like... 6 o'clock, 6.30ish, so I get there around 6.30ish, right, and I'm already, I'm all happy, I walk up there, and I knock on the door, and then she comes out, um, she, she was kind of freshened up, she got ready, but it's not like she was all, like, gowning or dressing or whatever like that, she was, she was dressed alright for a date in Arizona for a Friday night. But this is where it started to go downhill from there. Right away, she walks out, and then this is what she says. I'm tired. I'm sick. I'm tired. Let's go. Oh, my God. I'm so tired. Let's, just, let's go. Let's go. I'm tired. I'm tired. That's literally all I heard from her. For like, that's like the one phrase I heard throughout the entire night. It's like, I'm tired, I'm sick, oh my god. And to me, that's like, oh, great, she's not happy like I am. And if you're on a date with someone and they're not sharing the same emotion that you are, it just sucks. If they're like all depressed or sad or tired like this girl was, then it just sucks for you because you feel like you're taking her away from something that could make her happy or she could go get some rest or she can go get feel better. So right away once I meet up with this girl I'm already feeling depressed not depressed but just feeling down it's like oh well gee uh, sorry like sorry for taking you away from your home I mean I didn't ask her what she was doing but I was just like oh I I'm sorry but then we get in the car and then we drive off and I'm like hey how are you doing how you uh, how is life how's things going for you like I'm all happy I'm all positive I'm all smiling if you could see me right now I'm like smiling all big and then she's over there with grumpy cat face hmm I'm tired nothing much is going on yeah no nothing much yeah that's literally what she was like Oh my god, she was literally responding like that. Like, I'm not exaggerating at all. She's like, I'm just tired. I feel sick. Meh. And she was just like, oh, wow. Okay. So then that that, that passed, the greeting passed. So then I'm driving. I was like, all right, where do you want to go? I don't know. You know, I don't know. There's nothing to do. There's not much to do. I don't know. And I'm like sitting there like, um... I'm, I'm not going to make the decisions, really. I mean, usually the girl's supposed to make the decisions of what you want to do. So I'm like, come on, girl. Come on, come on. I'm trying to be funny. I'm trying to be funny and excited. It's like, come on, girl. You got to do something, right? You want to do something, right? And then she's like, 
Huh. And also, this is a key important fact. I live in Arizona, all right? I live in Arizona, all right? Remember that. And then I asked her what she wants to do, and she's like, hmm, I don't know. I want to go to Disneyland. And then that's just when I facepalm. I'm just like, um, um, girl, I don't know if you're kidding or not. I, I'm guessing you're kidding, but we can't go to Disneyland, all right? That's over a 10 hour drive. I can't just go all the way over there just for your pleasure. I mean, I gotta get you home in two hours. So, unless you can spawn a jet fighter plane from Grand Theft Auto 5 right in front of us, I can't take you to Disneyland. So then, then uh, I asked her again, all right, what do you really wanna do? I wanna go to SeaWorld. Another face palm. another face palm. It's like, girl, it's even a longer drive. That's even a longer drive. Come on, come on, get closer to Arizona. Come on, I want to go to Knott's Berry Farm. Ugh. Knott's Berry Farm is as close to SeaWorld as you can get. It's just, no, no, I don't even know where. Is it in San Diego or LA? I forgot. But then I'm like, all right, come on, closer to Arizona. You can do it, girl, you can do it. At this point, I'm like walking her. So I'm like, all right, what else do you want to do? I want to go to a dance rehearsal. Oh my god, I'm done. No, I'm done face palming. That was like the fourth, third face palm. So I'm like, all right, we're not doing any of that. Let's go to a mall and let's do something. So, like, she's all like, oh my god, let's go to the mall so we can go shopping. No, 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 no. I'm not going on boyfriend duty, all right? I'm not gonna do that. So we're gonna go to the mall and we're gonna figure out what we wanna do. So I drive up to the mall, right? I park, I turn off the lights, I'm doing everything right. I get out of the car, we go to the mall, and then uh, first thing she wants to do, she wants to look at books at Barnes and Nobles. You guys don't know what Barnes and Noble is? It's like a library with coffee and all this fun stuff. It's like a library, but fun with it. So I didn't really mind, but it's just so boring. All right, so. Then I leave. Then we leave Barnes and Nobles. It's all good and fine. And we're outside in the amazing weather. And if you guys don't know, at the mall that I go to, that I usually go to, that every Friday and Saturday night they have a live band playing music. This band wasn't particularly good. They weren't bad. They just weren't my taste. But we go past it, and this is gonna be hard to talk about. So we, I try to go past the band, but she goes left and stands right in front of the band, right, like there's the band, there's the audience, right in the middle is like her, is her, I'm not gonna say her name, but it's right her, and um, if you guys, I don't know how to explain it, the audience isn't like a big concert like audience, it's like 10 or 12 people sitting at picnic tables watching this live band, but she's standing right in between them, looking like a derp, I'm not gonna be mean saying she looks stupid, cause she didn't look stupid, she was just worshipping the band or something, but she, she was looking like a derp. I tried to text her. Like, she stood there for like a good three minutes. But I tried to text her saying, You okay? Can we please go? Of course, I'm not staying with her because I, I don't know this girl that well. But I'm not going to be like, Man, this is my girl right here. I'm going to stand with her no matter what. No, I stood at the side like a wussy. But I, then I texted her. I said, Do you, uh, Can we go, please? Then she finally walked to me. Then we left. And this is what really pissed me off. So. I wasn't planning on her friends being there, but we were walking and her friends came out of the st uh, store or something, and then her friend, then she saw her friends, and right away it seemed like a light, like a light switch. See, she became instantly happy. She was all happy, joyful, like, oh my god, oh my god, I can't believe it's you. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? She's all happy and all joyful and cat-like. Uh, happiness I don't know how to describe it she was happy and then I'm just sitting there because I don't know the girls that well I'm just sitting there it's like yeah 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 uh, then the girls finally left we left boom instantaneous grumpy catness with me then we go but I will never forget this while walking to the car I asked her one last time what is wrong what is making you all sad then she says to me I don't know. I don't know. There's just this girl that I like. And at that moment, I stopped. It's like, wait. You're a female, and there's this girl that you like. And I just want to clarify. I don't have a problem with gay people, bi people. I don't have a problem with anything. It just sucks when you're trying to, like, maybe date this girl. Then you find out there's a girl she likes. She doesn't like another guy. She likes another girl. So that just sucks for me. It's just like, hmm. It was just... It sucked. It really did suck for me. That ruined my whole night. It made me sad. I was like, all right, I'm never going to get with this girl in my entire life. So I didn't talk for the rest of the way ride. Uh, for the rest of the ride, I took her home, dropped her off, and then I called my friends. I like, screw this. 
we're hanging out, we're hanging out, me, you, guy, guy, and that's not gay, but we're hanging out tonight, and that was probably the better part of the night. Me and my friend, me and my guy friend had a better date than me and that girl, so that was terrible. Me and my friend played volleyball, we went on an adventure, we went to Sonic, I got tater tots and milkshake to make me feel better, but yeah, that was, that was one of the worst dates I ever went on in my entire life. Not that I was, well, I was bored, I was bored, not that my car didn't break down, which that has happened before, but the fact that I found out I couldn't get with a girl that I liked, and then I found out, just, you know, all this other stuff, so, that's my story, sorry it was kind of a long one, but I wanted to get all the details in, because there were a lot of important details, but that was one of the worst dates, not, yeah, it was one of the worst dates, I'm not even going to question it, I went on some pretty bad dates, but so far, so far, that's one of the worst dates I've been on, so, I know in the future, there's some more bad dates to go on, but my question to you, if you made it this long, throughout the video is what is the worst date you've ever been on if you have been on a date I know it's crazy that I've been on a date it's, it's like a, like it's like the second coming of Christ or every blue moon I go on a date but <laughs> uh, if you've been on a date uh, and if you had a bad date tell me what happened and why was it bad was it like my situation where you found out you liked a girl but she liked a different girl and you knew you couldn't date her that was a bad date and then I had a better time with my friend, but overall, like, th th yeah, that was my Friday night. It was bad. I went home and played some GTA, actually. That was a pretty good fun tonight, so I'm gonna go. Let me know what bad dates you've been on, and I'll see you guys later. And have an amazing night. Have an awesome Friday night. Hopefully, yours was better than mine. And, yeah, I'll see you guys later.